All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome into today's edition of In The Game. I am your host, Hustle, and as always, we're going to be diving into the markets, but more importantly, we're going to be diving into high upside, low market cap tokens today. I'm going to give you, I think it's 10 or 12 tokens that I think across the gaming, AI, and the GambleFi space are very good positions currently. Every one of these is below a $50 million circulating market cap, and I think all of these have tremendous upside throughout this cycle, given their narrative and given the product that they are building they are numerous projects in this in this video from studios games to individual ai projects so i think that your appetite will be fulfilled in this show so without further ado let's jump in the game First and foremost, guys, drop down, hit that like button. We're pushing for that 100K subs. We did cross 95,000. So help us out down below. Like and subscribe to the In The Game channel as well. Link in the description for all of our sponsors on In The Game. We have Vulcan Forge, Ultra, Dreams Quest, Game Starter, NordVPN. We have Funtico, Moon Tropica, Reality Metaverse, Xverse and Pika Moon. So guys, check out all the links in the description down below. Also, you can check the links in the description down below. I know Banter is launching the Gummy token. So if you want to participate, there is a link down below and you can actually go through and you know complete a couple different things, do a few different signups and you'll be able to qualify for an airdrop for the Gummy token. So check that out in the description down below. Let's just take a quick look at the market before we jump into this video, because this video is not more so about the current market. I shared my thoughts on Tuesday. I think we have a lot of upside to come still. With the having just, you know, at this point, a matter of days away, I think that it's a great time to stack up your positions. We might trade sideways a little bit after the having, but I do think planting those seeds now is going to be very valuable. So right now at 67.6, we've seen a bit of a bounce, you know, Bitcoin's up a couple percent today. We'll see what happens across the market. But just looking at some of the positions right now, uh, we see Blender Network, which is up at, you know, 13%. I actually just took a position on this one. Let me find the tweet here. I took a position on this one uh, during this market dip around $3. So it's at $350 here. This is one of my newest positions. We have Blender partnering up with OPSEC. So two of the big AI giants and, and AI names in the space. I feel like Blender's a little bit undervalued currently. Uh, so this one is up 13% on the 24 hour. Uh, we see dubs getting a little bit of a bounce, which is nice. It's been getting beaten over the head as far as price goes, but not a lot here, uh, you know, that's super far into the green, which is why it's a great day to potentially DCA and average into some of these lower market cap projects. So I know you guys have a taste for degeneracy and have a taste for the low cap tokens that can potentially do numerous X's. You guys don't want the Ronins. You guys don't want the IMXs, right? We don't want these top 50 tokens. Uh, that's just not the appetite of the audience, right? We want these gems that are under a $50 million circulating market cap that we legitimately think can 20X potentially during this cycle. So we're going to give that to you here. So we're going to filter by market cap and we're just going to go down here. And like I said, the criteria for this show is under a $50 million market cap. And I mean, like Altura is right there. So uh, Altura, we'll just start with Altura. I think that this one is first and foremost, one of the safer bets. They're integrated in so many different games. Their white label marketplace is now available for just any given game to go check out for free currently. They have a tool stack that just is so valuable to many games coming into the space. Right now, it's hovering, like I said, at that 50 million market cap at a $47 million market cap. And I think with their inter-creator program, you're going to start seeing a more of a social fi aspect from Altura as far as sentiment goes. So first and foremost, I will include them here, but they are just so close to that 50 million market cap that I, I, you know, it's not on my main agenda, but I do have to mention with a caveat, I'm super bullish on Altura. It's just right on that line. And I, I think that this definitely could, you know, 10x this cycle, for example. But for now, uh, just it's so close to that 50. We're going to go down the ladder a little bit. And actually, the first projects that we're going to go over here are, are right in tandem around this $40 million market cap. And these two are actually partnered up as well. We have Creo Engine. So let's pull up Creo Engine. I think that this one, first and foremost, 
quality ecosystem. They have a game launcher. They have everything you want from like a studio type of an ecosystem. And right now, 38 million market cap. The diluted is a little higher, but the unlocks aren't really scaring me too much. It's down 10% on the week. And if you look at the monthly, it has been trading pretty strong. It got up to about 18 cents. So that's a, almost a 30% pullback here. I think it's a pretty good time to position, potentially position yourself into Creo. And as we see here, they just scored a 10 out of 10 on their hacking audit, which is not easy to do. Uh, you know, they got 100%, 10 out of 10 across the board. And this is actually in a step to potentially bridge over to Ethereum. So as you see, this token right now is tradable on the Binance Smart Chain but eventually this will be tradable on ETH. So they are porting over their ETH bridge, which this audit here is actually a big step in doing so. So I'm very bullish on Creo as well. Their partners, Katana Inu. So Katana Inu is one of the flagship titles that's listed on the Creo engine, Creo Play app. So they do have an app. It's live right now. You can start jumping into these different games. But when you look at Katana Inu, first and foremost, community means a lot and the katana inu community is super loyal super strong it's one of the more strong communities when you look across the space moon tropica one of our sponsors they have a unreal loyal community um i don't want to liken it to like the cardano xrp armies or anything but it, it's got that just cult almost type of feeling which you want from the followers of this project right so kata returns in style with the arrival of imx in-game character so they are working with IMX for their ZK EVM rollup for games and passports that enables seamless wallet integration. Now Katana Inu just got hotter. And the visuals of this game are actually quite impressive. You know, they have the Inu side, but this is not a meme coin. This is a real product that is delivering a real game. I've jumped in. I've had a great time with it personally. So if you haven't tried it out, I would definitely go check it out. But uh, let's go down here. We'll check Creo. Uh, we're actually on Katana Inu here. Katana Inu, it did have a nice surge over the, let's take a look here, over the course of this like February period, it got all the way up to almost 0 0.003. It's now back to 0 0.0018 at a $39 million market cap. I think this one is also one of my favorite positions to potentially jump into. Next up is playable games. And a lot of people have taken this all the way up to a 10x and have also taken it down, right? It's come down in the market. And it, it, look, when a token does a 10x, there's going to be stagnation. There's going to be sideways trading action. But the bull token does have enough utility within the ecosystem. People are using it. People are spending it. They're upgrading their assets across the games and the ecosystem as well. Um, you have to use these coins you're basically almost burning these tokens whenever you buy a node, you use the bull token. So for example, look, it had 10 X and now it's about, let's find playable games here. It had gotten all the way up to a 10 X. Now it's about a three and a half, four X from the initial entry here. You should have been taking profits and scaling as, as it went up. For example, when a token 10 X is never just like sit in the position entirely and don't take anything off the table, but this thing's now gotten to a 15 million market cap. And I've said over and over, I think 15 to 20 million is very valuable for playable and it's on avalanche. They have their own avalanche subnet. I see avalanche gaming being one of the hottest narratives of this cycle and you know, speaking on that, we'll keep it on theme and we'll talk about Domi Online. So Domi Online, I think this is the DGEN token of the Avalanche gaming scene, right? We have stuff like Shrapnel, which didn't make the cut because it's a $66 million market cap currently, by the way. Super bullish on Shrapnel. But you have the games like Shrapnel, Off the Grid, these bigger projects, AAA games, etc. But Domi has proven over time that when this thing pumps, it is serious. I mean, we, we go take a look here. We'll go take a look at the month chart. It is trending down. But this yearly chart, when this thing rips, it rips, right? And it's, it's given you two opportunities now during these dips to come in and get in on this project at a $17 million market cap. I think this is a great accumulation. X RuneScape devs, their open alpha and open beta is on the way. They did delay it to make sure it's really polished. But all in all, I'm very bullish on Domi, and it's in that Avalanche ecosystem. And if Avalanche goes to 100, 150, 
$200, you're going to see these Avalanche gaming coins take a huge jump in the market. And I think Bull and Domi are definitely going to benefit from the Avalanche price action. One that we haven't talked about in just a little bit. We're running through these. We're trying to give you as much alpha as possible with respect to your time. So as always, like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and getting value out of the content. So we have Dubs, which another one that has been so volatile. It's still up quite a bit for the year. But guys, this thing got up and it actually got higher than this. It was like eight, nine dollars um, whenever it comes to the all time high here. So this thing really ripped. But one thing, it's taken such a big dip and they haven't even gotten to their catalyst. So it's a game fi, gamble fi, kind of like merge. You can gamble on esports, you can wager other people across different games. Right now, they cater to Web 2 games. But eventually, they will be partnering up and announcing. They already have these partnerships. I'm ready for them to start announcing them, kind of like Superverse. When Superverse started announcing their integrations, a lot of people jumped into Super and saw the utility. I think Dubs will be the same way. Just a matter of time until those partnership announcements come out. And then we're going to see the next leg up come. And at a $26 million market cap for the team, I've talked to the team there. They're doing some fantastic stuff. So I'm definitely bullish on Dubs. We have Honeyland. Honeyland just got listed on six centralized exchanges. This one speaks for itself. They got on six centralized exchanges. They called it a sex party. Not in a weird way. C-E-X. Why would your mind go there as the viewer? But as we see here at 15 cents, it took a dip almost below 10 cents. And now we've seen this jump in the market. $36 million market cap. And they have a big in-game initiative on the way. I'm actually going to be speaking with Corey, the founder of Honeyland, here pretty soon. And I'll bring that to you here on the channel so you can hear straight from the horse's mouth exactly what's going on in the Honeyland ecosystem. And as far as low market cap Solana tokens, it's definitely at the top of the leaderboard as, as well as Decimated. So this is one I've been telling you guys. There's a lot in store for Decimated. Another team I'm, I'm in contact with, I've seen what they're building. And at a 14 million market cap on Solana, I believe that they're involved in the upcoming game on Solana initiative. If you look at the clips, their game is one of the games that seems to be one of the features. But as we see here, these are actual like in-game graphics. Like the graphics here are actually comparable to some of the best in the space. Uh, this is the interface. Like this is not a, you know, rendering. This is not a trailer not a cgi clip that was made this is in-game graphics and i have to say it's very impressive i've jumped into the game myself so out of 14 million market cap and keeping it on theme we gave you the avalanche tokens together and those are the couple solana tokens that i'm really really excited about in the market currently and then last but not least uh, we're going to talk about champs so champs is a six million dollar market cap if we roll back over here uh, and we find champs by numbers perspectives on chain data. You know, a lot of projects choose to build on IMX, Ronin, Xi. Uh, we have, you know, Avalanche. There's so many different gaming blockchains out there. But champs is a strictly Ethereum product at this point in time. At a 6 million market cap, it is fully diluted. By numbers perspectives, by matches played, by rewards paid out they're one of the top games on eth by far like not even any competition and as we see here they have their pvp 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 fights so this is player versus player um they have the opponent inspection before pvp rounds random first champ to start the round more back end stability merge eth packages to save on gas and when you go look at those numbers like i said uh, they have about 79 ethereum paid out and 2 million fights in the ecosystem so very very bullish and i think this is definitely you could call it a dgen play it, it, it's very the community here is amazing and that's another thing i look at when you're looking at these small market cap tokens it's all over the timeline and i think it's actually a very very quality project and then an honorable mention to our sponsor game starter game starter is like a 20 what is their market cap currently Game Starter currently, we're looking at a $6.8 million market cap. That's way too cheap, in my opinion, because of the launches they're bringing to the table. They have V3. They have multiple games in-house. They have their marketplace. They have the IDOs, which 
right now, this is one of the cheaper entries into a launch pad that you can get to get some decent allocations. So they just did Arcade to Earn. Arcade to Earn, I'm super stoked for what they're bringing to market. That's an upcoming token launch. So I have to give a shout out to Game Starter. They are a sponsor, so I'm going to call it an honorable mention, but it is genuine conviction at 6.8 million. I think that that's just too cheap. Now let's get into the fun stuff. AI tokens, all right? The AI tokens have been the hottest in the market for months at this point in time. And I don't think that's going to slow down because of the real world development that AI is bringing to the table. Gaming's easy to understand, but a lot of people have trouble understanding why crypto and games. So you have to really break that down to them. When you talk about just an AI crypto project, people are like, I'm in, take my money. What do I invest in? Right? So I think AI is one of the strongest narratives this cycle. And I have found a gem of a project that had just launched this week. Um, so we're going to get into it right now, uh, which is YAI. So this one is literally a week old. All right. Uh, oh, hang on. See, the chart's so new that it just it just took my web page out. So hang on. Let me get back to that chart and we'll go over it. So we have YAI here. Um, this one, personally speaking... I haven't seen a new launch in AI that I've been this bullish on in quite a while. It's fully diluted already. 25 million market cap, 27.5 million fully diluted. It's up on the week, but it's brand new. It just started trading and they went live organically. No marketing. 27 cents on the current price. I think this is dirt cheap. I think this is definitely worth taking on a position. They partnered up with Google Cloud, uh, and they're thrilled to announce that they're now part of the Google Partner Program. It will allow them to leverage the full power of Google Cloud's ecosystem to unlock next-level innovation for our Oracle utilities. And personally, like this is what I love. I have a lot of mutual followers here. Some of the big names in the space follow this. Some of the smart money investors from Tao, as well as my next one that I'm going to talk about, Balance AI, are getting into why AI and seeing the same exact potential here. I would not be surprised to see this one explode and get on more KOL and influencers' radars. And I think you will be seeing this project all over your timeline here pretty soon. So why AI? I did take a position here, and I'm very convicted in this one. I, I'm going to hold this one for the for the mid to long term and uh, see what this one goes to. At a 25 mil market cap and fully diluted, I just see the upside here being tremendous at this point in time. Uh, we have Balance AI. You guys know I love Balance AI. I think currently, if we're talking about low market cap tokens, BAI and YAI, ironic that they're very similar in name. These are my two favorite AI coins. And I have to say, maybe the strongest positions that you can get into today. Because the AI coins, they've been ripping like crazy. And a lot of people have missed the big market cap stuff. But the small market cap stuff with quality product and utility, these are the ones that I think are going to catapult into the market next. So BAI and YAI, these are the ones that I am looking at to take huge legs up in the AI space whenever we see that market turnaround. And, and personally speaking, why AI being fully diluted, brand new? This one's going to be volatile, but I think the growth potential here is tremendous as they are growing this thing organically and under the radar. And then on the GambleFi side, I'm still bullish on GambleFi. I think the right projects consolidate those bags into a couple that you really believe in. My two favorites are BoxBet, and balance or, uh, and based uh, so base bet and bal uh, and box bet those are my two favorite gamble five projects we've talked about them quite a bit but you know they're going box bet is burning up to 20 75% of the total supply very bullish there and then when you look at base they've paid out 467,000 um, and you know, 67 K went to their holders this week that have been staking. So I really love what both of these projects are doing, giving back to the community and driving more value to the token. So all in all, I think low caps are the play right now in the market. Obviously I've consolidated some of my uh, saying trash bags sounds a little weird, but I've consolidated some of my weaker positions into the strong stuff at the top, but also I've taken on a few more positions this week. Blender, I've taken on YAI. I topped up my BAI bag. I've topped up numerous bags as far as DCAs go. And I think the low caps are the play in this market. A lot of the AI tokens specifically have run to such high valuations. 
they can still do numbers, but I think isolating stuff like YAI and BAI are the play in this current market. And then shout out to our sponsors here on In The Game. We have Ultra, who's bringing new updates to their Ultra Arena, enhancing the tournament experience with leaderboard management, more privacy controls, smarter linking, improved archives, and they have multiple events coming up for the month of April. Also, one of their ecosystem pillars, the Agora Dex Alpha Vault Market Maker, is launching on April 4th. So if you've looked at their overall ecosystem chart, Agora is a piece of that. So a lot of key updates coming out of Ultra, and I'm really excited to see the next leg up that it takes in the market as well. We have Dreams Quest, which is giving a breakdown of their UI UX. So the game is on the way, and they're, they're shipping this thing quite quickly. Uh, really exciting to see all their dev logs come out day by day. So as we see here, you can see the elixirs, the spells, the actions, the pickable objects. So I would just head over to dreams.quest. Check out their dev logs. You would actually be surprised for the amount that they are pushing and how under the radar they currently are. And last but not least, exciting for one of our newest sponsors here on the channel, Xverse, which is an AI-powered first-person shooter. This is launching on uh, Cetify. They're backed by KuCoin Labs. And when you see this, um, the Xverse universe is opening up soon with our very first alpha tournament event. So as we see here, it'll it'll get into some of the gameplay and some of the graphics. It's it's actually pretty solid. Uh, and, I mean, you can tell it's it's definitely been in development for quite a while. This team comes from a brand like a a bigger brand of of game makers in the space that have crypto experience but also experience building successful products so really excited to see xverse hit the market and as you see here the private round of xverse is on the way on cedify big fan of cedify big fan of what xverse is doing so check them out in the link down below in the description and like i said guys i think the low market cap tokens are the low hanging fruit in this market don't start buying some of the stuff in the ai market that is already 10x 20x 30x over this time period literally if we are to look at some of the 30-day charts here i mean we see node ai 178 percent uh like why ai just launched like i said it was fully diluted fair launch that's why the number's looking like this but it's down 20 percent on the day i think this one's probably <coughs> pardon me i think this one's part probably the best position to take on in the market currently in the ai space uh, but that's just me. Do your own research as always. And those are, I think, 10 or 12 low cap gems that I'm looking at right now. Like and subscribe to the video down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. As always, play well, my friends.